Hello to you today. Kai back with you for this very quick card. I think it's just under seven minutes. I'm using some Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press 300 pound watercolor paper to do this card. It was sent to me with um, my order from Jackson's Art Supplies in the UK. So I thought I would try it out with this technique to see if it's easier when using a fair amount of water. Um, and as it turns out, I love it. So I think I will get some pieces. It doesn't necessarily have to be Stonehenge, of course, but it worked out quite well. I do like it. So I'll get some 300 pound cold press to do to use. Uh, when I'm doing color burst techniques, which is what this card is today. The clean and simple challenge is for luck, um, being as it is St. Patrick's Day. So I downloaded this um, image of a shamrock and I cut it out on some masking paper, traced it and cut it out on masking paper and uh, am using it to be my bit of luck. And I'm adding the um, color burst colors right in the middle of it. I think, oh, I think that masking paper isn't down, so I had to get a little inky there. Anyway, such fun. So I'm using um, color bursts in um, lime green and chartreuse for this. I just thought the colors would be great for um, a shamrock um, leaf. I'm just going around the outside covering it. Not too much. I'm not going like all over the card panel. I'm going to be die cutting the panel using a, plenty, a penny black um, die called Elegant Stitching. And that in itself ended up being quite a feat um, going through the cold press, 300 pounds of cold press. <laughs> so I had to use my metal plate in my Gemini Junior and uh, ran it through a couple of times just to be sure it cut. And it did. So I was pleased with that. Um, and now it's I can see it just bending. It's not buckling, it's just bending the bottom. So I taped that down with some tape that was hanging in the way in any event and proceeded to um, heat with my heat gun dry it. And that little bit of uh, water running around in the bottom left there, I should have used my dry brush to pick it up, but I didn't. In any event, I ended up with a bit of a um, bloom, but that's okay. Uh, just adds to the artwork. So I just continue this until it's good and dry. See, now I shouldn't have done that either. Note to viewer, do not do. <laughs> Um, always pick up a dry, uh, dry brush and pick up your water that way. Don't blot it. That only adds to the bloom. So see, this is how I used to learn because people left this in their videos, their mistakes. I don't mind doing that. I consider them all part of growing. So I then went on and to stamp just a night I thought a nice sentiment about a friend because we're always ever so lucky to have our friends so I'm using a frantic stamper a large sentiment um, stamp from their collection it's full of, you can see it on the left there full of different kinds of um, larger print sentiments and I'm stamping it with Rangers archival ink and jet black it needs about three passes on the uh, paper due to the thickness of the paper, but that also is fine. 
I'm chewing a candy. I hope it's not too bothersome. Maybe I should take it out. In any event, that finishes it. So, because it's a clean and simple challenge, I didn't want to mat it with anything, so I just um, attached it to a yellow card base. It's uh, the second card I've made today, and I've used yellow card base on both of them. So, I'm in the yellow mood, given that it's presently snowing again. So, I'm just uh, adding some splatters of gold ink. Um, it's from, I don't even know how you say this, is it Sakaniko? Tukaniko? <laughs> Your guess is good as mine. Uh, fantastic Vegas gold color. It will be in the links following my post and this video. Um, so I do the splatters and then you see that I haven't got any splatters on the shamrock and I decide after a bit, mm, I don't like that. I want splatters on the shamrock. So I went back once it was even on my card base and added the splatters to it. So thanks so much for joining me today and I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a great day and happy St. Patrick's Day.